Hi, I'm George Ellison with Acme Guitar Works, and I thought I'd make a video that shows you the uh, the downdraft soldering benches that we've built. Uh, soldering um, is pretty harmful uh, to your health if you're breathing the fumes. Uh, what a lot of people may not realize is that uh, the, the the smoke that you see coming from a soldering iron tip, it's it's not molten metal uh, or vaporized metal. What it is is it's it's vaporized flux. So in uh, in typical um, electronic solder, the solder is really kind of an empty tube, and then it's filled in the center with um, with some sort of a of a flux or rosin. And what that stuff does is it cleans the parts uh, that you're about to solder. It uh, turns into a liquid. Um, if you've ever bought liquid flux, like a gallon of liquid flux. Uh, the stuff is just really noxious. I have no idea what's in it, but um, we bought it to use with a solder pot and bar solder, and man, it was nasty stuff. And so the thought of that stuff vaporized uh, and breathing that, uh, you know, I used to not think much about it uh, until we bought that stuff, maybe. I don't know. At some point, uh, I realized that, man, I don't want to be breathing this stuff. I mean, it's just really, it's got to be hugely harmful to your health, to human health. So um, we went looking for some commercial solutions and what what we found, we ended up buying two of them. The first one was this thing by a company called, I think it's Niederman. Um, and what it was, was it was sort of a, like a little canister about, you know, about this big and about that high and you cook, hooked compressed air to it. And then it had um, tubing that would come out and it clipped you know, to the hose, and then on the iron it actually had a little metal tube that came out when angled down to the tip. And so the idea was, you know, it would suck the fumes away right at, right at the tip. It was a little cumbersome. It wasn't that cumbersome, but it was a little cumbersome having this thing. There were times when that the tube would sort of be in your way. The other thing is, is that um, there is a lot of uh, I guess, well, the material that, that comes off, the smoke, um, builds into like a solid waste. And so what would happen is this tube would get filled up very quickly. I mean, we ended up having to clean the things like every day. In fact, what we would do is we bought these wire brushes and we'd uh, uh, snip off the end so we could chuck them in a drill. And we would, you know, you'd have to disassemble the thing and run the drill down through it with this wire brush to kind of clean it out. And um, uh, otherwise, it just wasn't, it, it didn't have very good suction. And so anyway, that, that system just ended up not really working that well. So then we bought this system, and I forget the manufacturer, if it was Haco or uh, Hacko, I'm not sure how do you say it. It was not Weller, but it was one of the, one of the big soldering suppliers. Uh, and it was sort of this big box, you know, about like that, with a motor in it and filters. And then it had these two big collars on the top, and you would buy these um, uh, flexible, like, plastic duct. And, I mean, these things would be maybe 36 inches long and, you know, two and a half inches in diameter. And you would, you know, you could sort of form them into shape. And so these things would come up over the back of the bench, and then, you know, you'd have it sort of go like that. And the idea was, you know, that if you were soldering in the general vicinity of these things, that your solder, you know, smoke would would get sucked up into these hoses. Um, but in, in order to in order for them to work, a lot of times you ended up with the thing like right here, and so you know you're always kind of like you know working around this thing. They were a pain. I hated them, and they didn't catch half of the smoke. And we spent seven eight hundred bucks on that system, I think. Um, so it wasn't cheap, and it just it just proved unsatisfactory. So what we finally did is this. We bought these, I had this unit. Um, this is a, a JDS uh, filter, basically, and it's for filtering dust in a woodworking shop. You know, and it hangs from the ceiling. Uh, here's another one here, underneath this bench right here. And then we've got one underneath this bench. So I called these people up and I said, hey, um, would this thing be satisfactory for removing smoke? And he said, well, it uh, yes, if you had the right filter. He said what you need is a 98% DOP filter. And he said that, that the smoke particles are really small, down about 0.3 microns. 
which I believe is about the, the size of virus. So it's really small. And he said most filters are just not going to filter smoke. But he said if you get a 98% DOP filter, then it'll work. So we bought a couple of units and we built these benches. And so basically I'll sort of stand back here and see if I can get a, a top to bottom and then I'll tell you sort of what they are. Basically, these are just shelving units. Um, you know, on the top, I mean, they're 85 inch high shelves. They start here and go down to the floor. Uh, they're made by a company called Penco, P-E-N-C-O, in North Carolina. And Penco makes this brand of shelf called Clipper. And of all the shelving we've ever bought, it's easily my favorite. And so now that's all we have in our warehouse. It's all Penco Clipper shelving. Um, so these are just 48 by 24 Penko clipper shelves and on the top, you know, we've got a couple of shelves here where we put, you know, these are incoming pre-wired assembly orders here in these tubs. And then we have bins uh, here that we, you know, keep pots and switches and wire and all of that kind of stuff in. Um, you can see here, this, these are just magnets, uh, these magnet bars that we've got mounted so that we can have tools hanging on the sides. Um, and then, uh, and then we bought these butcher block maple tops and because 24 by 48 is a standard size, it was easy to just order pre-made tops that slid right in. Um, and then, you know, there's a shelf on the bottom just to add, you know, final rigidity. And the nice thing about the Penko shelving is when you start combining shelves side by side, you use, uh, you use a single upright uh, in between the two shelves, and so it add, they add rigidity. The more, you, you know, as you build units, they, uh, they get more and more rigid. Um, and then we've got, we've got fluorescent lights fixed, mounted up here underneath, you know, these shelves. And so what we did on these maple tops is we, we routed um, and, uh, holes, and we, um, we used this uh, diamond plate, and this is aluminum diamond, uh, diamond plate, or not diamond plate, but uh, expanded metal. And basically, these units, I've, uh, I've got this sort of set up to, to, to show. It just uses a regular, you know, 12 by 24 furnace filter. That was a metal door falling open underneath because I've got it open so that I can get this filter slid out. I'll just move this back a little bit. So basically, we, uh, we've just got this hole here. Now, this is the 98% DOP filter. Uh, we had to order these. And you can see they've got an awful lot of surface area. I don't know if you can really see, but all of these are little teeny cells. And so, you know, and they're pretty deep. They go down in and there's, you know, all these different sections, right? There's like four sections. Um, so this filter is cheap and throw away. Uh, we buy them by the case and basically they filter. They catch 98% of the junk. Um, they catch dust. They catch... Uh, wire ends and you know all of that kind of stuff and of course if you you know if you drop something in it's easy to just lift up the metal and reach down in and get whatever you dropped out so they're they're pretty handy um, and then this is really the filter that's catching the smoke particles and um, we bought several of these filters we had to have them made and we had them made by a company in Louisa Virginia called Tri Dim Filter and that's T R I D I M Tri Dim Filter uh, in Louisa, Virginia. 